Let's give, let's give, let's give Great League one more go around, and we'll see how it goes. I think it's just the new color. About oh, okay, okay, interesting. Yeah, it just seemed new to me. It seemed new to me, Neophobus. That's why I was, that's why I was curious. But either way, appreciate you. Thank you for the biddies, friend. Thank you for the biddies. All right, we got Dragonair and Guzzlord. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Guzzle me, daddy. This will be quite the uh, quite the matchup here. Obviously, I always kind of favor Dragonair in these matchups, but like realistically, we're probably not winning this. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to take essentially what is a uh, we're going to take that lead into the and just farm this thing. That's not good. Uh this is a this is a pretty rough pokemon for us, ain't it? Now, I'm not terribly worried about the Guzzlord based on what we've what we've got, but like Deoxys is going to put a lot of damage on us. It also probably means that both of their backmons are good into uh Metacham actually. And so maybe I should have just... Oh, and they're on Thunderbolt. Gross. Uh, maybe I should have just been a little bit more cautious and tried to play this out. But... Okay. Do we spend a shield here? I think we do. Give me a boost, but like... I don't think that's a bad I don't think that's a bad shield. It's gonna make it's gonna make Guzzlord's job a little harder. Yeah, I figured that's what's what was coming. We're gonna probably get really greedy here and see if I can see if I can survive this. They could have a charmer in the back. That's basically my biggest concern right now. Oh, they got the defense drop. Boo. That might have. Okay, no, it's a it's a Claude Sire. Ah, interesting. Guzzle my lord. Okay. This gives us this gives us some play. We're gonna need to shield an earthquake if they've got it. Okay, sludge bomb, yeah. This is going to come down to the two ice punches, whether or not we can get them, basically. And I don't know that we're fast enough to get two ice punches here. Why I haven't done anything other than... Uh, uh, we might have CMP'd on this one. I think we might have CMP'd right here. Yep. Oh... Yeah, I had a brine I could have thrown somewhere too, maybe. And I didn't do it. I was trying to I was trying to get a farm and it just didn't work out. That was uh that game, if we were running Wish Cash, we would have been significantly better. So there's there's one vote for Wish Cash. Wish Cash would have been excellent in that game. As a final Pokemon, right? Uh, Frostlass. Yeah, that's not, that's not great. That's not great. That's not great. I don't actually think shielding the Tox Specs is good there. Given that their last Pokemon is pretty damn good into Tox Specs, right? Okay, that's fine. We're just gonna, we're gonna have to cough up a shield here, but. They took a they took an aqua tail and they're not going to get to two so they're going to have to shield and switch right this is definitely a switch coming so the question is okay well I think we stay frankly I think we stay into as much damage as we can right our team's not terribly good into this either so 
we don't have a way to just like blow this out so we're just gonna have to we're gonna have to live with the fact that it may have cost us a shield but our dragon air kind of killed two of their pokemon right And we just have to kind of hope that from here out, we can uh, make up the lost shield. Yeah. Ow. Not my favorite, but that's okay. Given that one of our Pokemon is Toxapex, I don't feel bad about the uh, the real the the chances of that. This looks like it's just here to absorb energy probably, but let's see what happens. Yeah. And then what's in the back? Okay. Oh, good discipline there on holding off, but they're never going to be able to kill me from here I don't think because they need to get like they need a flame charge boost which I'm not going to shield and then they need to land multiple flies right like this just ain't happening I could literally not shield this move and I still think I'm fine and I'm not going to shield this move fly dope <laughs> still only does that uh, we can safely shield this Because you're not getting, you're just not gonna get, you're gonna die with two shields. You're not gonna get to the moves you need. I quite like Talonflame Slat. I think Talonflame is quite good. But I also think that overrated may still be accurate because I think people are genuinely like high, so high on Talonflame. And it's like, there are definitely times when it's oppressive, but there's definitely a lot of places where it's gonna struggle badly. It just has some matchups where <laughs> you don't have a win condition i mean they were attack they had talon flame up a shield and they just could not handle that meta cham i don't love this obviously uh ice punch is real potent into us so and they're bulky I think the further down the rankings you are, the uh, the further th down the rankings you are, the better Talonflame is. Okay. Interesting that they also shielded. It probably indicates at least something about their team. And two shield. All right. Well, we're gonna take we're gonna take our shield advantage here. I mean, that seems like a fair us saying like, hey, you know what? Fine. Like, at least we generated advantage. Now it could mean that we're in deep shit because we desperately needed our. Uh... We shield a psychic. Oh, they're not on Psychic. They're on Dynamic Punch. Oh, no. Oh, no. And then Indigredent. Okay. Well, I probably should have stacked this move. Let's see what they have in the back. Let's see if we, let's see if we got burned. I mean, I have to think that they have a, an answer for the Metacham Mirror, but maybe they don't. Let's see. What's their Metacham answer? This isn't boding well for our opponent. Obviously, I'd love to have the shield right now, but I should have made them show me psychic, but I was just being assumptive. Stupid mud shot greeting. All right, what's your back Pokemon? Ah, Claude Sire again. Okay.
Yeah, I really feel like maybe uh, if we had saved the energy, we'd be really happy right now. We got the defense drop, so that's nice. But if they are on Earthquake, I still have to... Uh, I, I think we actually do survive an Earthquake. Also, they can catch. Something to keep in mind. They've got... Uh, they've got a... Uh, they've got a... Uh, what's it called? They've got another Pokemon. Right? I think Green is still alive. Ow. He's still alive. So we're not gonna... We're not gonna throw right away. Or no, Matacham is still alive. Take that back. For once, I did the thing, chat. I actually paid attention to whether or not my opponent had another Pokemon alive. <laughs> I didn't assume the game was over. I actually paid attention and looked. Made a, a conscious effort to look. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We've managed to uh we've managed to find ourselves some uh some some positive momentum here. Let's see if we can keep it up. Let's see if we can keep it up. It's all right, Randall. Uh Polyrath. All right. Well, not a matchup we love, right? It's really not our favorite, but what we can do here is hopefully eh, I don't think I don't think I need to. I, I I know I can safe swap, but I just I don't like safe swapping Metacham. I think the result here uh, this could backfire, but I think the result here with them no shielding is that. We go down a shield. Start right, because I know I know who Muck is. Muck is Muck is a Muck is a local of mine. So I can call them by name. All right. So this is this is uh the thing I was slightly worried about. But one, they have not seen our Metacham yet. So they do not necessarily know for a fact that Vigoroth is not really... See, this is exactly kind of what we're hoping for, right? They do not know that Vigoroth is in trouble. And they're letting this Lantern take way too much damage. So they're going to be in a position where they're going to have a very hard time winning this game from where we end up, right? Thunderbolt. Yeah, yeah. If I can get another move, I'd, I'd be thrilled. Sorry, Stardock. Yeah, I I do that on occasion when I know when I know somebody, uh, when I know somebody IRL. Right. We bring back the Dragonair because they're gonna have to spend energy to kill us, and then. Uh oh, is oh right? Is that also your name, Stardock? Because that I could definitely see why that would throw you off. Yeah. Hi. You bring your Vigoroth into my Metacham. Yeah, that's that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad for you. Not going to lie. GG's. So while uh what's a good beginner great league team? Uh yeah, hey John. Um uh, so good news. Unless you are genuinely interested in like learning and getting better at at PVP, you can complete the level 43 quest without doing terribly much. Um, however, if you want a really good Great League team for someone who's just getting started and with Pokemon that are fairly accessible, my recommendation, generally speaking, um, the team that I think is, is a really great learning team um, is basically to take um, Wishcash. Wishcash is very good. Pair it with a Flyer, Altaria, or Skarmory, depending on what you have access to. And then a normal type safe swap like Lickitung, uh, Vigoroth, Greedent, um, any of those Pokemon. And what you're basically doing is saying, I'm going to lead 
this Pokemon. If, I, if I'm winning the lead, I'm great. If I'm losing the lead, I go to my safe swap and I try and take switch advantage. And then between Skarmory and Wishcash or Altaria and Wishcash, you should find a way to win the game, right? I think that's like a really good learning team that actually does it. The three starter teams are also pretty good. Um, Swampert, Charizard, uh, Venusaur is a really good team you can run. It just does require some elite TMs if you're new, which is really the only reason I don't always recommend it. Um, because all of those Pokemon have at least one legacy move that they need to be playable, right? So those are some options for you. But I also believe you can just more or less throw your games for the level 43 task. In fact, I don't think you need to play GBL for the f level 43 task, do you? Or it's only like 10 GBL wins or something, something ridiculous like that. So you should be okay. Gligar. We got a Gligar lead. Sure, 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 sure. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. So they are a little bit faster than us when it comes to Aerial Ace. So. G Fist, Azu, Trev. It's a, a totally reasonable team. The only the only hesitation I have about G Fisk, Azu, Trev is the simple fact that uh, Azu is uh, a little expensive if you want to run a good Azu. Aerial Ace. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. And we're going to win the one shield here. So if they want to, uh, if they want to use both their shields, I'm going to, I'll be fine with that. They're not going to. Okay. Unfortunately, this is one of the matchups that's been heavily impacted by the psychic nerf. So they're double flyer. They're just double flyer in a weird kind of way. They're double flyer in a weird kind of way. They're going to hurricane me. Nothing I can do about this. Now, the question I have is, will they shield? Also, did I just over tap to the point at which they can hurricane me a second time? Okay, no. Good. This doesn't feel like shielding. I feel like I'm giving them something here by baiting. But I also don't want to be put in a position where um, I get farmed. So this is actually both of us trying to not get farmed to go back into the uh, the other matchup, I think. Yeah, right. Because I don't want to get I don't want to get super farmed here because this is going to this is going to do a lot to help them in this matchup, right? They now have a lot more energy to work with than we do. They already did, but. Oh my god. And they and they did lead surf. I figured they would lead Thunderbolt just because like I might not shield like the first move is so far from lethal. But all right. Well, we're definitely not killing them with charge moves now. So it's just a matter of whether or not I can counter throw them before they before they kill me. That's basically where we're at now. Uh, and if they keep going for surf, I mean, they, they need a thunderbolt, but like, come on, give me, give me, there we go. We win. GG's. <laughs> so we shielded the surf and it still, it still didn't matter. <laughs> it still didn't matter. <laughs> All right. Neat. Neat. Who needs dynamic punch? Who needs it? Who wants it? Who needs it? We got it. <laughs> 